Hi there, this is Andreas with Express Pets Finger Drumming and in this video I'm going to explain the basic setup that I will use for almost all of the Express Pets Magic Tone Network tutorial series videos. And of course the centerpiece of it all is the Novation Launchpad. All the other devices that you see here, they are not really needed in order to play the Magic Tone Network technique. So that's what it's really all about. The Novation Launchpad needs to have the Magic Tone Network uh, layout installed on it and in order to do so you need to download the Novation Automap software which you can do for free from the Novation website and once you've done so you can go to the ExpressPads website to presets and layouts and there under hardware presets you will find the Magic Tone Network layout that you can download and uh, load it onto your device here via the Automap software. In addition to the Novation Launchpad, you see this Novation Nocturne here. This is an additional controller because the Novation Launchpad doesn't have all the functions that a MIDI keyboard has, like for example um, mod wheel or pitch wheel or um, a damping pedal and so on. And so I have the Novation Nocturne here because uh, this way when I do some tweaks on the sounds. I can do this right in the focus that you see here on that screen and I don't have to work with the um, MIDI piano that you see on the top. Furthermore, you see the MPD-218 here. This is a pet controller with regular 4x4 pads. And I have it here because on the Magic Tone Network there are a couple of concepts that can be explained better with a 4x4 pad controller. And uh, the reason for this is that a lot of things on the Magic Tone Network happen in the area of four pad columns. Then you see this uh, Launchpad Mini, and by the way, the Magic Tone Network technique will also work with the Launchpad Mini, but in this setup, I only have it here to display what I play on the Launchpad that I have on my right-hand side. And just to understand what I mean, if I play a chord here, you will see it displayed there, and the same, of course, for melodies. And this way you don't need to figure out what I'm playing here exactly, which pads that I press when I show you an exercise. You will always see it on this display here. And finally, you see the MIDI keyboard on the top. And sometimes it's necessary or helpful to explain a couple of concepts with a MIDI piano, because this way, um, yeah, it's easier for you to understand what I'm doing on the Novation Launchpad when I show you something on the keyboard here.